Hello, welcome to Game and Social. My name is Matthew, and this is First Impressions, Formula One 2013 Classics Edition. And today we're going to continue having a look at the Grand Prix. We're going to do a 1990s classic track, and we're going to choose a different car this time. I'm thinking about um, oh, what can we do? 1990s. Let's. I'm not going to do Ferrari again, but let's do a Williams. Let's do that. A Williams FW18, 1996. And Damon Hill, yeah, I used to support Damon Hill. So let's give it a shot. Um, same setup as last time in terms of rules and, and whatnot. I'm not going to do the same track again. I'm going to do a different track. Let's do. Yeah, let's do this one here. If one's classic, let's do it. Whatever that is all about. Let's give it a shot and see how fun this is. Let's see what we got to do. And hopefully, I can actually come first this time. Uh, in, the, in the last uh, first impressions video, where I was uh, driving this Ferrari uh, as Michael Schumacher, um, I was a little bit rusty. Uh, I haven't played this game since doing that video, so I'm still probably just as rusty, but I have a better idea of what's going on. Plus the car is going to be newer as well, um, different century, so and the tracks look newer as well. Because it was only in the 90s, and it wasn't that long ago I suppose. I can't remember when I started watching Formula 1, but oh well. Anyway, car set up. Braking, let's just get this put up so we can um, have a better chance of braking. And let's go, go, go. Let's have some more fun. But so far, this is really, really good. This is definitely making me um, thoroughly enjoy this game. Um, definitely worth the buy. It's, uh, it's really impressive, actually. So what position am I in, then? Uh, my Joe Mansell is... Uh, is it my teammate? Yes, it is. No, it's not. My teammate's in second. Was it that of Villeneuve? Don't know. Oh, hello, this is a different look again. Here we go. Four lights, five lights, and away we go. Go on to Rich Mix, please. And let's get out of here. Hello there, man. So you got a bit of a slow getaway. I'm going to drive past you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And Villeneuve. Past you all. I just waved my hand at him. Apparently, he tapped me, and I wasn't very happy about it. That's probably my fault, to be honest. The feel of this car is much better, but it's because the car's driving, uh, the car I'm driving is obviously much newer than what I did in the last video. Um, so it's not to say that, um, that, I don't know what I'm trying to say, it's not to say that the cars in the previous century are bad at all, it's just probably how they felt. And obviously the newer the car, the easier it is to drive because of new technologies and all that sort of fun stuff. But this definitely feels much faster anyway. I mean, just look at how far ahead I am from my teammate at the moment. I'm really starting to pull away. Like last time, I couldn't even catch up with. Um, well, I was, I was slowly catching up with the guy in second, um, but I couldn't get anywhere near the, the first two guys. I came at fair in the end. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk, um, turn down my fuel mix thing again. I haven't done this try before, so it is definitely new to me. So now that I'm on a straight, I'm gonna turn my fuel mix down because I don't. I don't need it. I do not need it to be that high. We have some spare fuel. You should consider turning up the engine for a few laps. I know we have some spare fuel, but I just fell off the track. I don't want to use it because it ruins the tyres a bit more. And now they're very slidey. <laughs> That's pretty. So I got a bit of gravel on there, so a bit slidey. Oh, didn't do that quite right. Come on, tyres, it gets better. Didn't break too much in that one there. See, I'm going to be a little bit slow at the moment, but I can let the cars catch up with me a little bit. I don't want to be too far ahead of them. I want to make it a bit of a challenge rather than just going around you know, for five laps, staying in the lead. Um, and I don't want to ruin my tyres to the point that I can't stay on the track properly. So I know I have plenty of fuel, but I'll soon burn that, I expect. I'm trying to be a lot softer out of the corners as well, like I said in the, in the last video. Uh, I'm trying to make sure my tyres can, can last longer. That's the problem I had in the first two videos I did. Um, probably even in the uh, the fourth video, in the online play as well. Is um, I would constantly wheel spin and just accelerate to the max out of every single corner. And that soon destroys your tyres. I still kind of do it now. I haven't quite got the right technique. Um, but that's mainly because I haven't had to worry. I mean, I'm used to playing Formula 1 2011. And in that, you haven't got to worry about your tyre wear. You can have it turned off. So you can really rack the crap out of the car and it just does not matter at all. Like there, I just completely accelerate up the corner. And apparently, my teammate is going two seconds faster than me. 
Alright, let's turn my mix up then. Let's do what I say and let's try and get a faster lap time because I want to get fast as lap as well, to be honest. And by the looks of it, my teammate is actually catching. So let's change that then and get flying out of it. I think Williams were actually a very good car in the 90s. And I keep overshot in that corner. I overshoot in that corner. So my pace is two seconds up, which is good. Oh, come on, corners. Don't know why, but I can't seem to brake correctly at the moment. Not too sure why. And apparently I've gone purple in the last sector. It's a shame that you don't have cars in DRS and stuff. I keep wanting to put my fingers on the triggers. On the on the bumpers on my controller so I can you know, get the boost. But uh, there we go, now I've just gone fast. Let's do an even faster lap thing because I was a bit scruffy. Here we go, so I'm on maximum fuel mix and whatnot. Whoa! The car... The car just shot off the track then. And my tyres are getting a little bit wrecked. <laughs> a little bit wrecked. Okay. So I don't know what happened there. I kind of went off the track and tried to get myself back on. The car just bounced and shot off even further. Like there, I'm sliding. My car is sliding all over the place. My back wheels are a bit shot at the moment. Um, Right, mix two it is. Yeah, I don't want to go too mental because my tyres are starting to lose it. I don't want to fall off the track and lose it. I've got flashback, I suppose, so I could always cheat a little bit. I mean, you know, <laughs> why not? I do like winning after all. So hopefully I can get an even faster time now. I'm on a 14.8, nice. Really, really good. How my tyres doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing bad. So he does it. There we go. So yeah, I'm doing quite good on the lap times. Okay, so I am miles ahead of my teammates. This is going to be a one-two at the end of this. This was quite nice, you know. It's always good to get a nice one-two. Apparently I'm still going faster on the sector times. Not quite sure how, seeing as I've turned my engine down, but there we go. Maybe I'm just doing a better lap overall. Okay, bit of a slide around there. Not to worry. I'm almost there. I'm on the last lap anyway, so it's not much of a problem now. My tyres can be ragged to crap, doesn't matter. It looks like I'm on for a faster lap again, which is really nice. Around the corner. <laughs> Went a little bit wide on that one. But I'm not going to do that. I've got a 114.8 so far as my fastest. I'm going to end on a 114.2. I think it's a 114.2. That's phenomenal. That was really good fun. I think I'm going to end up playing Formula 1 cl Classics more than the actual main game. This is really good. I'm liking this a lot. Look at that. 10, almost 11 seconds ahead of Vilner in that time. Difficulty no different. Settings no different. Just faster. I was just faster. Dear, oh dear. I don't know, that was a really, really good, really, really fast. But thanks again for watching this first impressions video. I will see you in the next one as we see what else we can do in Formula 1 Classics. Thanks again.